Hey folks, this is Red Falcon, and you're watching episode 14 of my Let's Play Evil Crime Mercenary series. In our last episode, we um, went over the military ships, how to get them, um, how rank matters, and reputation, and we also finished um, one of the uh, combat missions. Well, we're now we're doing what I believe is the last combat mission in the area. It's a three-point um, waypoint um, contract where we have to kill 21 fighters. It's not easy by any stretch of the imagination. So what we're going to do is we're pretty much probably going to spend most of the episode trying to get through this one. So let's uh, hit up our, uh, our mission and jump out and let's tackle this thing. All right, coming in on IDS. I'm sorry, inertial. Now, I guess we could, if we wanted to, oh. Okay, what I did there, what I did wrong there was, I wasn't going fast enough. And the, uh, it took me out. But we're good though. Shields are up. Alright. Alright, let's try this again. Alright. We gotta approach him at an angle. Really? Let's take this guy out. One more should do it. Alright, good. Four there. Oh, and the, the carrier's right there. Not uh, carrier, um, destroyer. Okay. Actually, those guys might be softening up that Venari right there. Alright, let's take him out. Let's see what we got. Full health, full health. Yeah, that guy. Once we penetrate his shields, he should be he should be pretty easy to take out. I'm gonna use a little afterburner here to get up to speed. And then right before we get into range, switch an IDS. Or switch out of IDS. I keep saying that. All right, next target. Power to the weapons for a second. Get my weapons fully charged. All right. Now let's approach from this side. Come on, come on. You got this. Eh, good. All right. Next target. Now that we don't have as many, we can take them out. I don't know what's hitting me. I think that might have been... Okay, he 
is pretty torn up, so I think we can get this guy. Okay. Okay. Look at that. We only used two missiles, and we're, um... We're in the clear. Alright. Okay, let's, uh... fly off in this direction. Let my uh, engineers repair my hull a little bit. I'm sitting at 75. 76. Uh, we should be okay. Let me divert some power to the shields, because we're going to jump out right in hostile space anyway. Okay. We're going to slide to the left. This guy. Come on. Honestly, I think their weapons have a longer range than mine. At any rate, though, they're pursuing me. And staying off that destroyer, so I'm helping. Though I kind of think it's a little one-sided how they just all kind of just clump on the player at once. It's a little messed up. You know, you think the AI would be more concerned with the three, four other ships approaching, but I guess they're not really a priority. All right, I guess we should turn and fight. So switch into inertia. Shields, hold on. Okay, he's done. Alright, next target. Uh, who looks damaged? It looks like that. That fire star's got him, so. Uh, we'll go with this eye. And yeah, I use my afterburner a lot. So that's why I invested in a larger tank. Larger fuel tank. Okay. Ah. He's got range on me. Oh yeah, and um... Just so you know, R... I think it by default um, selects the nearest um, enemy. So if you're taking damage, probably a good idea to hit R and see who's who's hitting you. And give them a taste of their own medicine. Oh, okay. Give a little power to shields here. Alright, who's my closest target? This guy. Oh yeah, they'll be fine. Let's go. Let's do this. All right. Okay, this guy's almost dead. And he's away from his pack. Boom. All right, who's next? This guy. More weapons, more weapon power. More power to forward shields. Okay. Hey, look at that. We're done with that. Okay, cool. All right. Um, let's see. Let's give myself a little more power to the shields. Oh, look, we didn't take any hull damage. In fact, our hull is actually almost at 100%. So yeah, look at us. We're pretty good. Okay, man. As soon as I say that, I'm gonna. Die in the next mission, just wait. <laughs> Alright. Enough of that business, though. Alright. Holes at 100%. We're green across the board. Let's do this. 
the last waypoint. Alright. Okay. Who's my closest target? This guy? And you gotta use your afterburner smart. Like, if you know a missile's tailing you, don't use your afterburner. Alert. Inbound missile. And just, like, launch a couple, uh, countermeasures. Alright. That guy... Yeah, let's go for that guy. No, he's pretty far away. Oh, so many choices. Uh, okay. Yeah, we'll go this way, sure. Actually, let's approach on the side with the friendlies. Power to shields. Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> we're good, guys. <laughs> All right. I got nervous because my uh, my shields dropped so rapidly. I was like, oh crap. Okay. Probably not a good idea. Oh, that's a that's another destroyer. Okay, well, we're just gonna. Just gonna stay away from that. Okay, so we got these two guys. Venari B. All right, let's try this again. Another thing I've learned is you don't really want to fly in a straight line. So when you're in inertia. Um, you know, play with your um, your lateral and uh, vertical thrusters, um, WASD, is what I mapped them to. That way you can, you know, provide some, uh, you know, basically make yourself harder to hit. And that's why IDS isn't ideal for uh, combat. He's probably going to intercept that missile. No, I actually got him. Okay. Okay, now we're down to one Exodus missile, though. Okay. We gotta think about this now. Play this smart. Let's go for this guy. He's in the yellow, so if we can take his shields down, knock out his hull, he'll blow up. I've got one Exodus missile, so I've gotta make that one count. Oh! Well, it looks like... No? They didn't take him out yet. Right here. Good. Alert. 
Come on. Penetrate. There we go. Crap. And no shame in running. You get in there, you do your job, you get out. Live to find another day. All right. Okay, so who do we have left? Okay, a little more power to the shields. Afterburner. Alert, inbound missile. All right. Let's try approaching this guy this. Basically, it's, uh, think back to the first combat tutorial I ever did. It's basically what I'm doing. Got it. Okay. I think I pushed my ship a little too much on that last run. I took him out, though. Yeah, I really pushed my ship. <laughs> Alright. Oh, it's like... One versus two now. Out of the guy doing no damage. Okay. Yeah, this last guy, we should be able to take him out with just our weapons. And I'll save my last Exodus missile for that Venari F. Well, actually, next that Venari F's really close. Got him. Come on, baby, hold together. Okay. Last one. I got a very special surprise for you. Boom! Contract complete. Alright. Hey, look, I didn't even die. How about that? Alright. That's the thing about this game. You have to stop and think about what you're doing. That's all. Alright. Okay, let's dock. Well, let's, let's save first. Okay, wow, I use 13 countermeasures. <laughs> I have 13 countermeasures left. Yeah, I, I blew through those very quickly. Docking 
tractor beam engaged. All right, let's refuel. Fill the tank. All right, and Exodus missiles, right? All right, so that's 2,500 a piece times eight. It's like 200, 200,000 credits. I think I made like, I forgot how much that, yeah. We actually did that mission at a loss, I think. <laughs> but, you know, it's, uh, you know, you, you gotta spend money, I guess, to make progress. All right, so. Safe progress. Okay, let's. Docking track to be engaged. A few last quest messages. Okay, congratulations on completing this stage of your test. Getting this far takes a skill level not many new pilots possess. For your next assignment, travel to the Pearl System and land at the main trade center on Planet Oasis. Well, if you guys watch my trading tutorial, you know all about that. Oh, and look, we actually ranked up to Ensign. While we did those missions, so let's um. Docking track to be we got a we got a couple minutes. Let's take a look at what um. What's available. In um. That uh. What the oh really? Really? I guess this Fenari wants wants blood or something. I don't know. What what he wants. He's out for blood. He's all mad because I killed his bros. It's okay. Alright. Okay, let's get our ship lined up. land on that carrier. Let's land on that carrier. Okay. For some reason it didn't register when I hit F2 the first time. Probably my keyboard. And look at that. Turn that off. Okay. Let's uh let's take a look at our See what other ships are available. So you start off with the uh, with the ferret, which uh, has agility of 94, 120 armor, and we can also fly an Ares, which has slightly less maneuverability and slightly more armor, and I believe might have additional weapon slots. I'm not sure about that, so. But yeah, there you go. That's um and then the next rank we unlock the shadow, the wraith. So each rank corresponds to one ship. So and we only did what, how many missions did we do? We did three and we got the Ares, so I imagine it's probably like oh, I don't know, eight to get the shadow, sixteen in addition to that to get that, and so on and so forth. Um there's information like that on the um official uh Evocron Legends site or um, strategy guide anyway um well that's the end of the episode i'd like to thank you for watching if you enjoyed this episode please click the like button and leave a comment below and if you want to see more videos like this please subscribe to my channel and as always thank you for watching Docking track to be disengaged.